to my channel, I'm Brian. Uh, today I am doing a different piece. I'm going to be doing something called a reverse Dutch pour. Um, I saw a video by Olga Sobi. She did this at the request of one of her viewers. Um, so as you know, as a regular Dutch pour, you put down a base color and then you put your colors over top of the base color and then you can manipulate them with the air blow dryer, mouth, what have you. So what a reverse Dutch pour is, is I'm putting colors down on the canvas and I'm going to separate the colors with a strip of white and then I'm going to blow the white over top of the colors. And then what's going to happen is the white is going to go across the colors, but then it's also going to kind of recede and those colors are going to pop back through the white. So um, what you're going to have is basically a top and a bottom of colors and a white in between, but then you're going to see the colors kind of creep back into the white. Um, it's a little confusing, but once you see it, then you'll understand more. So what I'll do in the description link, I will link uh, Olga's video and you can see exactly what I'm going for. I've never practiced this technique. This is the first time I've tried it. So it could either come out great or it could come out awful. Um, I've got a lot of colors I'm going to use. So that also might play against me or it might help me. We'll see. I like a lot of colors. I enjoy using, you know, at least six colors on a painting. Um, I can do less, but I don't know. I just like a lot of colors. So I'll get you down on the canvas and uh, we'll talk about the size and we'll talk about the colors and how I'm going to lay all this out. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. So what I have here is a 20 by 24 canvas and I've turned it sideways. That way I have a little more working room um, horizontally, <coughs> excuse me, to work with. So the concept is, like I said earlier, was I'm going to be laying out colors all over the place and I'm going to use white through the middle. So I'm not going to come straight across. I think I'm going to make a, a different type of design, maybe like here and come here like this. So we're going to have a lot of colors here, white strip here, and I'm going to blow the white through the colors. So the white I'm going to use is Amsterdam's titanium white, which I've got some in a uh, container here and I put some in a squeeze bottle. So what I'll do first is I'm going to make my white line how I want that. And then I'll use more white over top of it. So you'll see colors I'm going to use today is Amsterdam's Prussian blue, Amsterdam's cobalt blue, and then I'm also going to use Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, Amsterdam's Turquoise Green, Pebio's Iridescent uh, Orange Yellow, Amsterdam's Quinacridone Rose, Pebby, uh, excuse me, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, and I'm also going to use Pebio's Iridescent Blue Green. Let's start off with making my line first. Let's try this. And the reason why I'm putting this color white down first gives me an idea of where to keep my color. And it's okay if the colors uh, blend because they're just going to get blown out anyways. So the first color I'm going to put down is my darkest color, which is my Prussian blue. I think I'm going to put that over here. to use the metallic cobalt blue here some through here uh, okay this is the cobalt blue from the Australian drips there So you'll notice that I did paint 
my sides already with a blue. I used a uh, cobalt blue as well. That way the colors are not, uh, the sides are not white. Uh, let's see here, turquoise blue. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do some iridescent orange. I'm using a lot of iridescent colors with these, so this is probably gonna have a lot of shimmer to it. don't necessarily think there's any wrong way to do this because um, you're basically just pouring paint along in a free pour painting which is really fun put the gold in showing is along the edges which it's going to um, blow over which is fine we am going to take some Prussian blue and stick along the tops what this is going to look like so this is going to be very fun very unique all right i'm going to pop some air bubbles for the magic. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to split the white. So I'm gonna use part of the white in the middle this way and then use the rest coming down this way and then we can play with composition. Let's see.
Wow. Well, this is amazing. And I've got a lot of cells happening because I did a lot of metallic, uh, iridescence, metallics. Only thing I do, I think what I want to do is maybe add some color over here. The too much white uh, flopping. So let's. Olga had to do this too. She had a little bit of too much white on the edge. I think it would look better if we had some rounded color in with the white. Same thing over here, just not as much. Okay, so what I did off camera, well, what, no, what I actually did, what I thought was on camera is I felt like there wasn't enough white bleeding into the colors. And so the genius that I am decided to put some more white down and blow it. I hit the record button, but I did not hit the record button. <laughs> I hit it and my camera never turned on. So what you see here is the end result. Um, I'm liking it now because what's happening, so what I did, I put more white down and I blew it back over because I felt like what you saw before was just color and no white. You saw white in the middle, but you did not see any white showing up in my colors that were on the canvas. So I decided to bring it in a little bit, I put some white down, I blew it over again, and then I did not like what I was seeing. But what I'm finding now 
is the colors are now coming back up through the white, which I'm happy about. Um, <clears throat> and you're starting to see the cells form again. So the only thing I want to do is I want to fix some of this here in the middle. Um, like there's some green just poking out and some blue. I need to get some of this gold and stuff. So let's play again. Hair in there. Mixing these iridescents and the metallics, wow, just the cells. Plus, we're talking about Amsterdam White. Amsterdam White makes cells, whether you want it or not. <laughs> Loving this. So I'm going to torch this again now that I've played with it. Definitely don't want any air bubbles. Also, a good thing that I get, did get to blow it again, it was able to get a little bit more paint off of the canvas, so now it won't be quite as thick, which that's gonna be a good thing as well, too. All right. Loving this, loving this, loving this. All right, I'm gonna bring you down off the canvas, off the tripod, and I'll show you again the web result. Um, the colors, amazing, beautiful combination, lots of cells happening. I'm so glad I poured the more white over top of it and re-blew it. Um, I'm just sorry you guys didn't get to see that process, but I'll bring you in for a close-up. Look at all of that cells. You see the shimmer, loving it. This is just so cool. All the cells happening. I know I keep saying cells, 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 but it's just amazing looking. The way the colors blend, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Just gorgeous. No silicone, flow trial water and paint. I tell you, I just really love working with Pebeo iridescent colors. And how can you go wrong with 24 karat gold from Decor? All right, guys, I will show you the dried result. I'll see you in a few minutes. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this reverse Dutch pour method. I am going to do some more of these because this is such a cool way to do fluid art. Let me bring you in and I'll show you close up here. Um, I, I just, the colors that I picked with the metallics, and I mean, how they just all blend together. You get to see that gold, all the cells, and lacing. I mean, just beautiful. I mean, the details. Look how the color just really pops up through here it's just gorgeous i'm so happy with this piece i cannot wait to put resin on this i'm just it's gonna be so bright i mean it's already bright and shiny and vibrant 
Got tons of shimmer from the metallics and the iridescence. But once it gets resin on it, it is really going to pop. All right, everyone. I am. Uh, I just want to thank Olga Sobi because if it wasn't for watching her video, I would have never even known about this technique or possibility. So I really appreciate her and all the work that she does. Um, all my pieces are available for purchase if you email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. I can let you know about pricing and shipping. Also, if you are enjoying the work that I'm doing on my channel, please help me out by liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. That notification bell will let you know when I post new contact, uh, content. Excuse me, And leave some comments below. Let me know what you think of this piece. I mean... It, this is just so cool. I, I just, I'm stunned. <laughs> Speechless. All right, everyone. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.